I have Android trash. So this is the Android trash showcase. I made this little logo and uh, <laughs> I don't know why I made it, but there it is. Immediately start with ads. This walk cycle reminds me so much of pregnant Elsa Spider-Man Joker diaper syringe. It's I think it's just a, like a stock walk cycle asset that's used for both Android trash and also for the YouTube videos. I don't know. This is pretty good. It's not as good as Curious George. This one's called Totally Not Some Spies. Let's, um, let's take a bet on how long it takes before I start raging out because of ads. <laughs> Something tells me this music was likely stolen. I mean, what else is there to see? Nothing. You saw all of it. Let's take a look at Hello Neighbor. Did I do this one? Hello Neighbor Run? I think I did this one, right? Toontown 2D. Duck Kicker Games? You motherfucker, don't kick ducks! <laughs> um... Whoa, oh, this is- this is really shitty. Oh, this is- this is something else. It's- Watch videos for jelly beans is an option, of course. Jelly- being the currency of the game, I would imagine. How, look at this attempt at 3D. This is absolutely unreal. I've I don't think I've seen 3D attempted like this before, where it's just a bunch of 2D images. Like this is the back in the days of like like you have to go back to <laughs> Goofy Speedway. You have to go back to like point and clicks from the 90s. Disney going to sue. These are screenshots from an actual game. So they just overlaid these screenshots into like Donkey World. Uh, you know what? I'm good. Say hi, neighbor. You're going to play the most scary game ever for mobile devices. Be careful, this is not a joke. If you are under 18 years old, please open lights or play this game near your dad and mom. Lol. <laughs> oh, is that me, Gusta? Some scary game. I'm not in control of anything, mind you. Again, I'm not responsible for anything that you're about to see tonight. Rate this game, Rate. then tap the play button to start playing. You're joking. Thank you. Now you can play. I just clicked out of the rating. I didn't actually rate it. So, um, those are Half-Life sounds. I don't know if you can tell. Of course, I can say hot, hot garbage. Rate this game to start playing, and then you start playing, and immediately it's just a fucking jump scare. Oh, it's so shitty. It is so shitty. This is by far the worst segment that I do these days. So much so that I actually voice cracked upon trying to tell you what it was. Of all I do on Sundays, aside from shitty Russian B uh, PlayStation 1 ROM hacks, the Android showcases are the scariest because kids are actually playing these games. These are not, like, going unnoticed. There's no objective here. You just saw the only jump scare in the game. That's it. That's the whole game. Kids are actually... Kids are actually playing these games, they're watching the ads, they're using their parents' credit cards to play the games. It's bad. Penguin Simulator. Oh, this looks okay. Motherfucker. I didn't click on Pirates of the Caribbean game. I clicked. No! No, 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 no! I'm playing Penguin Simulator, not Pirates. Holy shit! Did someone just say this sounds fresh? Oh, it's Goat Simulator. It's a worse Goat Simulator. Well, at least something is happening. This isn't... This isn't the previous game I just played. It's not Scary House Mansion. Please rate before starting while you get ads. Good camera. No, it's, it's pretty fucking bad. I don't know why I'm defending this game. It's just when you get to a level of quality that's so incredibly low every time you do this. Anything that actually is playable is like a gift from the Lord. Yeah, I'm a penguin. Fuck you. Yay, video games. Can I watch more ads now, please? I haven't watched enough ads. Thank you. 
I was wondering, you know, I wanted to see about Egg Game. This looks like, yeah, the Manta Ray game, but it's the same fucking beach from the Manta Ray game. From like two Android shit shows ago. It's okay, I'm a penguin, I can handle this. Things just freeze when you get near them, because it's funny. It's funny! Watch an ad, please, and you can unlock more penguin points. It allows you to wear penguin armor and get 20% extra auto-aim. And you can also be Darth Penguin if you want to. But you might not get it because you gotta watch an ad box. And if you get the right ad, you'll unlock Darth Penguin. You never know! Wheels of superhero- oh my god. Look at these fucking superheroes. See, I don't have enough super points to unlock Flying Spider Hero, or, um, Steel... Steel Mang. But I have the Blood Hulk. The, or I as they call him, the, the Blood Clot. I am the Knight. I... am Batman. I am a shitty it's Batman! Shit. What is this spank? What is this spunk? I'm sorry, this has what to do with Batman? Did they license this? Wow, they don't care about their character, do they? They probably... I, if that is licensed... If that's licensed... That means that DC was just like, yeah, that's an extra $4,000 in our bank account. I may as well just do the Batman voice. I. Am. Batman. Epic bosses. This doesn't look as bad as some of the other shit. I probably- I said, you know, DC licensed Batman out. It might not just be DC, it might be a number of things. Holy shit. This game is really loud. I'm down to 10% volume on blue stacks, and it's still this loud. Like, fuck's sake, please. Yes, we're going to watch the Red Hulk on a bicycle. <laughs> you guys, I fuck you. Fuck you. This is a bike, not a motorcycle. Oh my god. Bulk Bogan. Right, but I didn't finish playing the game that I'm I'm playing now. Yeah, nitrous. Ah, uh, yes, Pizza Slice. Yeah, I know all about Pizza Slice. That's my favorite pizza place. Pizza Slice Slice. No, motherfucker, I don't know! That's the worst. That's the worst fucking, most ear-piercing thing. I'm not even holding the gats anymore. Blood Hulk is going on his own. Thank God. Oh, it's piercing! Fucking stop! Okay. Okay. Oh, this is really bad. Look at- look at all these ads! Look at all these fucking ads! Smash car 3D- I- Blood Hulk is getting his teeth drilled. Santa Wars is next. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Why is there a goblin Santa doing Gangnam Style? So many kids being brought up with this as their first exposure to video games. How lucky. How lucky I never had to deal with twerking Santa Claus. I don't want to live in this world no more. Apparently the game just doesn't load. Maybe I'm okay with the game not loading. Yeah, that's fine. Scary Clown Halloween Night. <laughs> oh no, the colors are locked. Whatever will I do without green clown? Just punch? Okay. I figured I was a magical clown, I could do magic, but I could- I just punch. A bunch of similar looking Vin Diesels. Have to beat the shit out of them. Maybe I'm the superhero here, maybe... I'm the good guy. 
Oh, I do have magic. I can form a fucking demonic circle. <laughs> you motherfucker. Level complete, what? That was a whole level? Yeah, it was, because the faster the level, the quicker you get to the ads. Cool attack. I wonder how much clussy this dude gets. What do you think? You think this dude's swimming in the clussy? Okay, Super Nario. Jape advertisement. Oh, double ad. Double ad. Um, that's the title screen of Super Nario? Oh, this is a confusing mess. Holy shit. Why does it look like this? Wow, this is a fucking... This is a crazy ripoff. I love it. I love it. My favorite part, I think, about Super Nario is that there's an ad at the top of the screen at all times. So just in case you get bored with this game, these custom assets definitely not stolen or used from any other video game. Oh, there we go. Fire Flower. I mean, uh, Flower of, of, fi of Flame. Flower of Flame. I think you need to see... I don't know if you saw the icon for Super Nario, but... Here he is. Look at him. Just in case you were wondering. So he's blue in game, but the icon is black and white, and he has a flesh tone mustache that I think they tried to take the mustache away, but instead they ended up kind of just coloring it in fleshly. And so it kind of looks like he's got, it looks like he's got skin cancer, to be honest. Very bad. I wouldn't recommend Super Nario. One night of jump scare animatronic so the good news is if you only have play with fred jump scare perfect so if you only have um ugh, low tolerance for horror games you don't have to spend all five nights you can just spend one night one night with your pal fred fred jump scare ugh. collect 10 smartphones within five minutes and escape Oh, what? Oh, that I fuck. Okay. Please stop. Oh, oh, this is where I start. I'm in a fucking shitty dank toilet with sludge and scum about my person. I love Android games. Man, Android games are so great. I wouldn't want to touch Fred animatronic. I found a surprise egg. I hate everything. Oh. Get it? Collect a surprise egg. Get an ad! Good morning. I got a trending gif. This is my trending gif right here. Mono made it. Okay, so note to self, never collect surprise egg. Simulator Dr. Freddy joke. It's like it's it's like they're being generated by fucking computers. It's like computers are coming up with the names of these games. I'm in love with the shape of you. Please I wanna die. Simulator Fred joke. Why is the word joke in the title? Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't I can't believe this. I feel like I'm taking Rev's job. So I got the doctor part. I don't get the simulator part really. I mean, yeah, I guess you're simulated 
you know, you're playing a doctor, but whatever. Creepy pasta fighters. <laughs> Here we go. That's how I feel. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Loser. There's no point in me trying to move. Because the D-pad thing is set up in the most counterintuitive way possible, so... No, there is no winner. There is no Round winning when you play three. this game. Fuck him. Ten, fuck nine, him? Eight, what?! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Loser. I'm sorry, can- what?! I, I kind of want Amazon to see what they put their ads on. Fight. I'm gonna try that one more time. I'm gonna try to fuck him one more time. Also, look at that pig in the background. Why is Peppa Pig staring at me? What the fuck? It's like human pig. Fuck him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Loser. I'm pretty sure I did the correct thing. You know what? I'm good. We don't need to play any more Creepypasta Fighter. That's why we're gonna go to Ninja Superhero, the Shadow Turtle. Okay. Cow instead of dog. I wonder if they're gonna pay anyone $5,000 to play that game on their stream. Yeah, all right, guys. We're gonna do speed day spinner. Why has this happened? Why? Why does every one of these games have the same horrendous flying mechanic? Nice fucking frame rates. Vinny, didn't you play this already? I might have, or it's just reskinned. I'm pretty sure it's just a reskin. Reskinned and renamed so that they can make more ad money. Oh boy, this is unplayable. Is this Rev? Like, I'm sorry, Rev, but I, I, you know, I'm not sure what else I have to do in this game, so you're gonna get the brunt of my anger. Oh, all right. Okay, I know what you guys want me to do. You want me to go back and you want me to fuck him. You know, in the video game. <laughs> Creepy pasta sentoki. Oh yeah, I want to be the thing with the nipples, please. Yeah, he's got he's got shit on his ass. Ah, you know, I like to see monsters with with assholes in video games, especially if they're not washed. That's good. This is good. This is just good. Awful character. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Game over. Why am I still doing this? Do you, is it going to be that good? Do you think it'll be worth it? Do you think all this is worth it? <laughs> I can't believe that this attack is actually a hump animation. And it really is, too. Don't fool yourself into thinking otherwise. Fight. I won't be satisfied until this game gets me banned from Twitch. Fuck him. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Loser. That time I did it right. That time I did it right. Fight. 
right. Oh, please, enough. I, I'm pretty sure I did it right that time. I'm, I'm almost positive. Maybe you have to do it really fast. You press the last one too fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you've played the game before? San Andreas Crime Stories. This dude does not give a single fuck. Please, no. Oh my god, look at his shoulders. What is wrong with his shoulders? Ow! Ah! Oh look, here's a human. Hello, human. Is this your helicopter? Can you I, a fellow- off? I'm already late. I, a fellow human, wish to have a conversation oh, with you. Oh, fuck off. How did he get up there? Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Do you hear the Blade Runner synth? Gotta watch an ad if you want to come back. That synth sound is the one that Vangelis used in the Blade Runner soundtrack. It's been ruined for me forever. So when they say you could come back, Fuck. I didn't realize they meant as an invisible, as a ghost. GTA would be so much better if it just implemented ghost mechanics like this. This is... This is truly remarkable. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. This is a good game. Yep. Have that model get all stretchy. Okay, all right, we're we're going into infinity. Into infinity. I think I fell through the world. I, I don't think I want to go to the strip club, but I have to. I have to try. Go to Duke Strip Club. Alright, so, I'm gonna get the helicopter. I'm gonna go to... Street Club, and then we can check out a different game. Hey, get out of my way! Fuck you, dickhead! Good shit. Good game. Peace, brother. You're fucking dead. So sorry. <laughs> wow. It's like anime punches. It's not a strip club, it's just dancing. Hey, baby. Fuck. Looking for a date? Oh, fuck off. Fuck you. You are dead, and now you're history. Hey. You like I'm here to dance. I'm ready to dance. Oh, fuck off. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. Yeah, get in there. Yeah, yeah, stretch the neck. I died from that? What? What? I got thought rot. All right, next is tactical schoolgirl. <laughs> Tactical, tactical schoolgirls. Oh. 
You know, one of the reasons I don't want to turn the ads off is because I need to show you how bad this has gotten on the Android, like on cell phone games in general. Like it's really bad at this point. Not that you don't already know that if you watch plenty of these Android shit shows, but you need to know. I'm trying to spread awareness. Is that a kitty? So we're tactical schoolgirls, right? And we are badass and we fight. Good camera. The fuck kind of camera is this? Oh no, oh no! No, stop! No! No! <laughs> it's another game that's fucking impossible to play. Why, why, why does the camera do that? Of course there's a crawl. Why wouldn't there be? Azurite says, got the game myself, checked the videos. The fuck him thing is the creepypasta's fighter. In creepypasta fighters is just a fatality and not sex. Thanks, Des. You're doing God's work. 3D Neighbor... Oh, how much more of this shit is there? 3D Neighbor House Escape. I don't know if I played this one. It looks kind of familiar, so I might have. I don't know. I don't remember this. Especially with... I would have remembered these graphics. Let's hope no one here has epilepsy. Cause this will fuck you right up. Okay, that's enough for that one. Um, uh, m mutant ninja, mutant ninja toad. I think I tried this one too, right? I remember the toad nipples. That was the same map from the Cuphead game. Oh, Cup Hand Adventure, you mean? Okay, yeah, that one doesn't load. Do you remember Super Bono Odyssey? Well, it's still here, but this time it's called Super Barrio Odyssey. So they they changed the name from Bono. To Barrio, which I wonder if like you two sued them, but that was in the previous one. So you want, you know, you want to watch that if you want to see what that's about. Here's a hint. It's not worth it. All right. So this one's called Neighbor Hide and Seek. Just when you thought we've done all the neighbor games, there's plenty more. Did I do this one too? Key found. It's like World of Warcraft graphics. Okay. That is very, very, very bad text. I'm just gonna try to find the neighbor. The best graphics of the night, though, I'd say. Which indicates that they're probably stolen. You need to find magic before your neighbor gets home. Okay, you know what? I don't even want to see the fucking neighbor. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Here, for the record, this is what the neighbor looked like. Okay? Okay? You saw the neighbor, okay? Evil man survival escape. I think I did this one already. Fuck. Oh, I just watched two ads so that we could do a thing that I've already done. Oh yeah, I remember the baseball animations. AD. Yeah, I thought of a similar word, but it didn't start. It, it started with A and ended with D in a different way. Well, that was a bad attempt at a joke, actually. Couldn't construct it properly. I tried to think of a way to say AIDS, but I couldn't. I'm sorry. Star versus evil too. A D as in ads. I wasn't click. I, I didn't click the the thing quick enough. I can't speak. 
this trash is really having an effect on me. <sighs> this is a bootleg game based on a Disney cartoon. Oh, okay. Disney, are you watching? Take care of it. It's weird because, you know, so many of these games don't have a soul. You know, sometimes when I do weird streams on Sunday, I feel bad because I just can't get into the game. Like, there are art games that aren't good games, but there's an intent. Like, I may not like the game, but who made it attempted to create something that means something. Whether or not I agree with it, that's a different story. But I, I appreciate when a developer or a designer has some kind of vision so I'm always a little careful because I don't want to, you know, I feel kind of bad if, if it's a game that someone put a lot of time into to try to make um, people check out his game and, and kind of feel the way he feels or they feel. Fair enough. But when you have games like this that are just ripoffs that show ads, it's juicy to make fun of them. There's no soul to a game like Star vs. Evil 2 or 3D Neighbor Fuck you can very comfortably say whatever you want because I, I at this point, am not unconvinced that these games are being made by, aren't being made by computers. Yeah, so this is Zedrin, as you can tell, and um, it's unplayable, so never mind. Here's Neighbor Escape. Okay, I think I did this one too. Again, I apologize for the duplicates. I tried to remove as many duplicates as I could before streaming today. But I apparently missed a couple. I mean, this one was really good. <laughs> so, I don't even mind playing that again. Psychedelic Trip Free. Look at this corporate tool. Now he's not even looking at the game anymore. <laughs> what? What? He had the weirdest facial expressions and then he didn't even look at the game. Oh, this doesn't work. That's a shame. Psychedelic trip free didn't work. This one's called Alice Labyrinth. I mean, we haven't seen an ad yet. Well, never mind. I just saw the ad at the bottom. Uh, plays like shit. Which, again, how, how would a game this simple play like such shit? You underestimate Android. Okay, there we go. Cat Evolution. Zombie Cat Evolution. Is this Mugenics? Ed couldn't finish it, but the Android shit showers did. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no. That is... That is outstanding. So you either wait for mice, or you buy more cat toys, or you wait an hour and a half to get another cat toy. Holy shit. is not the worst thing I played tonight. Here's Cats in Italy. So we're now in the feline segment of the uh, Android shit show tonight, apparently. an FMV. Point and click, find a key, go into the next room. I don't know what this has to do with cats. I'm sure we'll find out later on, but I'm not going to put that work in. However, this, this is what's up right here. I don't know if you saw that. The pizza? Look at this fucking decoration. I want it. Because it's Italy. They, they hang pizza on their walls. Halloween with Bob. <laughs> oh, that's the Bob they're talking about. But this fucking song again, too. I love this song. 
Yes! You know you're in for a good time. It's gonna be a runner. It's a runner game starring Bob. Yep, just a reskin of that other one, the neighbor game. So lazy. Hanazuk. Hanazuki adventure. That wasn't SpongeBob, that was Halloween Bob. Okay. There's another runner. Is this the same fucking level from Bob? I feel like I'm gonna fucking vomit. Oh, uh, cat full house. I wonder if a stray cat girl is going to appear on anyone's doorstep. As I don't have a girlfriend, I'm working part-time job every day so that I can forget the loneliness. On the way back from work, I encounter a significant even that has a big impact on my life. A significant even. I hear a cat crying from somewhere. A cat? There is a cat in a cardboard box in bushes of the park. On box it says, please take me home. What's wrong? Why in a place like this? Have you been abandoned? Same as me. You want to come home with me? I loved animals since I was a kid. As I can't leave it alone, I decided to keep it with me. I feel dirty. At the night when I took the cat home with me. Hey, here's milk. Good. I'm happy you do. I wish you were a human girl. Haha, <laughs> no way of such a thing. You want wish come true? What? Suddenly, a magic square has appeared on the floor. Oh, as they do, of course. And it lights up the room like daytime. <laughs> What's going on? Good evening, this is Magical Girl May! I make everyone's wish come true! What's the heck? You are a very kind person who picked up the abandoned cat. That was an accident, I'm sorry. But this game just brought it out. For your kindness, I'll make your wish come true. The magical girl prays and brandishes the broom, and then the cat is transforming into a human figure. Well, well, how do you like it? Blah, 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 blah. What? Until a little while ago, it was a cat, but now it's a human. In addition, a pretty girl. Nani. Take care of her. And this way, my new life has begun with a current pretty girl of the former cat. This game, you raise the intimacy level. The numbers on the screen. What do you mean, intimacy level? Although she's so cute, you cannot touch the breasts and thighs! The numbers at the top. What? Is this a hentai game? Vinny, it's a friendship game. People are saying- There are a number of people in chat that are saying this is a hentai game. I think I'm- I think I'm good. I don't- I don't- I- I think I'm good here. I think, uh... Even if it's not a hentai game, I think I'm gonna have to abandon this for my own, like, mental health. It's painful that a man buys women's clothing. The clerk stared at me weirdly. I wish Kana will love them. Fwip. I'm home. Did you see it said Fwip? Something about calling the police? Fumbling. Okay, that's enough of that. Peppa Pig Sponge Adventure. Yep, it's Peppa Pig as Spongebob. Of course it is. Has no one else noticed about Peppa Pig's nose? That's just okay, right? No, no one's... Like, the shape of Peppa Pig's head is fine with everybody? That's okay, right? That's Is that what real Peppa Pig looks like? Hang on a minute. Yes, it is. Though it's a little bit less, let's say, penular. It reminds of Judge Alvin from Nothing But Trouble. Um, real life Jeff the Killer. You know, the Jeff the Killer games just don't work. Rick Help Morty Adventures. Ricky Adventure. <laughs> as soon as I hear that fucking music, I love it. Look at all these high IQ level design. But really though, 
It's a, it's really just, just a big mashup of everything from the series, with the same levels and the same music from every other runner I've played tonight and on previous Android showcases. Jungle Monkey. Oh, wait until you see the fucking. Someone was commissioned to make this art. They knew what they were doing too. Wait, what? What does this have to do with Mario? Which brother is this? This is ba uh, Baby Kong. I mean, Baby Bro. Holy shit. Now this is Dong. Now this is Super Dong! Holy shit. This Dong would fuck you right up. You know, it's actually a somewhat competent clone, too. It doesn't play completely terribly. It works just well enough that, you know, you, you would maybe play this if you had nothing else to play. It apes the controls of Mario Brothers pretty well. I like how the, um, these fake pipes, these, these statues are actually just Mario faces. Further adding insult to injury. Okay, now we just have World 1-1. They couldn't, like, make new levels. They had to... They had to steal the Mario Brothers level design. Couldn't they just create new levels? I mean, they made a fucking ape. Probably stole an asset, but you know, maybe. Now you need to see the um, icon. Who's that? Which brother is this? I, I mean, he's not even in the game. Speaking uh, of infringement, the adventures of Zelda, straight up, no attempt to hide. No attempt to hide that this game is in fringe. Okay, wacky PUBG. So, some nice stolen assets. The Master Sword is gone, this is bad. Mwakahaha, we have steal the Master Sword. <laughs> And we get, we get the Breath of the Wild music, and this appears to be a rip of Hyrule Castle from Twilight Princess. I don't know if it's a direct rip, or it's just some kind of weird bastardized... Whoa, 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 whoa. Zelda, what is wrong with your arm? What is wrong with your motherfucking arm, Zelda? I die, I do Zelda is evolving into Azora. Growing fins. Yep, here it is, Breath of the Wild. In all its majesty. Could you imagine if this is what we got when it came out? How much you want to bet that when I die I have to watch an ad to come back? Nice. That run cycle that Link has though is, is real good. There's also, like, fragments of boot floating, just in case you were wondering what that was. Those are fragments of boot, which is incidentally the name of the song on the soundtrack. This is, yes, this is sacrilegious, I would say. This is easily, yeah, this is easily the most extreme, like, blasphemy we've seen on Android shit show. It's even got ripped assets from... Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, but they, they don't mesh because they're two fucking completely different art styles. Vinny, there's a little kid out there that thinks this is the real Zelda. Well, that's, that's the fear, isn't it? The fear is that some kid is going to play this for the first time, played a Zelda game, and this is what they're going to associate Zelda with. I guess this is an attempt at a dungeon. Oh, please let this kill me. Yeah. It's majestic is what it is. Look at that majesty. Okay. Okay. Do you remember uh, Amazing Strange Rope Police? Well, I've been saving this one. I've been dying to check out Amazing Strange Rope Police Vice Spider Vegas. And here it is. It's a cool word. At this point, we're just going to watch it. Otherwise, it's going to be a blank screen. Ugh. Number of bitcoins 
gangsters killed, street cop killed, steal car, steal bike, destroy vehicle. What the fuck? It's another character model thing. I don't know if uh, Strange Rope Hero is necessarily a good guy. I'm, I'm learning that Strange Rope Hero is kind of a motherfucker. Of course, he can attach himself by the head. Look at that shiny ass. Just like a plastic action figure shine ass. Don't pick a fight with a marine. You know, I've, I've had enough of Amazing Spider Hero. Shoot Your Nightmare, Chapter 1. Strange Rope Hero Vice Spider. When I first arrived home in May 2013, six months after the latest war had ended, nightmares started. Doctors told me that the war veterans are not commonly are commonly at risk for PTSD. I have no I have those terrible flashbacks and nightmares. This is one of them. The latest war, whatever war that might have been. Ah! You get to kill your own nightmare. In other words, zombies. These controls are really laggy. Like, I move the screen and it takes a full second for the screen to move. This isn't worth our time, so I'm gonna go through. There's like, there's a couple left. We're gonna do the best one, or the best ones, I should say. Like, Super Retro Bros Run. I never doubted it. Sorry. Gee, that's loud. So here's another bro. This is Blind Dario. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's, you know, he's blind. You have to control him. Apparently that does... Okay. That does that. This is Super DD. Just gonna go quick. Super Dangerous Dungeons. Well, this doesn't look like a terrible game. I mean, maybe a little derivative and stupid, but this doesn't, this doesn't appear to be, I don't know why this was included. Maybe because it looks like Link? Yeah, this is a good one. Well, never mind that one. Um, Super Sponge Saya Hero. I think you'll enjoy this one. So, oh, sorry, it says Super Spong. Sponge isn't spelled correctly. Yep, it's SpongeBob as a Dragon Ball Z character, everybody. I like how the sound effects are double the volume of the music. Yeah. Is that a beedrill? Yeah, whatever. Um, I just want you to see that it is, in fact, spelled uh, Super Spong. You can't see it, but Super Spong S. Um, how about Super Sonic Adventure Maze? We're almost done. I'm getting through this whole list. I don't care if we go over a little bit. Oh no, don't do that. I need to see the Sonic game. Yeah. Yeah. Actually controls worse than you would think just by looking at it. Controls worse than actual Sonic 3D games. I've never played an actual Sonic 3D game. I'm just messing with you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I know how much you love the Blue Hedgehog. I haven't played the 3D games, but I've played plenty of bootlegs. So I'm going to go ahead and judge all of my quality assurance of the Sonic franchise based on the bootlegs I've played. Just like if I played Zelda for the first time via the Android game that I just played. Super Sonic Run and Go. Ah, this music again. Evolution. Here it is, the true Sonic Go experience. The Rake, Rust, Dead, Survival. Killed Jake the Killer and Slenderman, no shit. This fucking gun. It's like a desert eagle with a scope. 
I just don't think I could recommend a first-person shooter on the Android. I really don't. Like, cell phone games are not necessarily meant to be this complex. Just like deagles aren't meant to have fucking sniper scopes. Like, eight times zoom sniper scopes. But what do I know? Who puts a scope on the- on a pistol? Uh, Snake Pliskin? I'm immediately bored. Okay. Ultimate Sandbox. Desert! Free! How are there so many people playing this? Oh man, this server sucks. I want to go to the free sex server. I think it's just, yeah, it's just sh uh, it's shitty fake Gmod. Is that Mike? Holy shit, I found Mike. <laughs> Superhero water slide uphill rush. We're almost done, by the way. We're really close to finishing. I've got two games left. free music if you're starting um, a health program you know if you're doing a YouTube video about like organic coffee or if you're doing a Kickstarter for ravioli this is the music you would use don't worry it's royalty free or you know you're starting a new indie community oh nice frame rates yeah good frame rates sorry this is a game Oh, God damn it. I mean, we've come this far. I have to see what else happens. So that's it then. You just move your superhero up and then you get on a water slide. Watch video to double the reward. And the advertisers probably don't care that it's just little kids watching the ads. And finally, the last game of the night. Super Spinner Spider Battle. Now that is an intro screen tells you everything you need to know about Buick Holiday Shopping. Like, do I get money for what, showing you guys these ads? <laughs> do I- do I get something? It looks like a car, just in case you're wondering what was going on on the screen. What the fuck is wrong with this dude's fucking hands? Get ready. So here's another- yet another bootleg. <laughs> we got a green and purple spider hero. Wow, look at that! Oh! It's massive! Good flight. Good flight animation. <laughs> I think we're good. And that is the Android Trash Showcase. And this is how I feel afterwards. Someone in chat just said, I've never been so happy in my life to see a stream end. That's good. Yeah, I've, I'm with you on that one, especially because it's my stream. I feel like... I feel like I'm good. I'm good on the Android Showcase for quite a while, maybe, maybe a couple months. We have to let the next couple trends circulate, you know, like we need um, spider fidget spinner heroes to become passe and we need like something really like what's what's coming out. Well, Star Wars is coming out soon. Um, so maybe we'll see an influx of Star Wars Android shit shows. Uh, whatever the next big toy is, maybe we'll get more Bitcoin. Maybe shit coin will make an appearance. Um, who knows? But when it happens, when it happens, I'll be ready for it. And so will the people that make these games. And so will the computers that make these games. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream.